Hey guys, it's Rosa here. I hope you're all having a really lovely day. I'm here today with a mountain of fabric. <laughs> I'm very excited to share with you. I've been buying some really lovely fabrics recently. Most of these fabrics are not actually for me. They're going to be for making baby clothes for some of my friends who are going to be having babies soon. So it's very, very exciting. But I've also got some grown up dressmaking fabrics as well. Um, so before I get started, I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing. This t-shirt is actually from And Other Stories. I bought it uh, for when I went on a holiday. I really wanted a striped t-shirt and I just, I just really love this one. It has this cute little red trim and my dress lots of you will recognize is the Tilly and the Buttons Cleo Pinafore and I made it in the midi length. So let's get started with the fabrics. I'll start off showing you the dressmaking fabrics. Um, so me and Harriet uh, from Hobbling Handmaids went on a really lovely day out. We went to Walthamstow Market, which if any of you guys live in London or even Essex, it's not too hard to get to. Um, you have to take a trip to Walthamstow Market. It's amazing. So many beautiful fabrics. I mean, it's a real mixed bag, I'm not going to lie. You do have to have a good rummage in some of the shops, but there are some really beautiful fabrics and it's, yeah, definitely well worth a visit, particularly if you're looking for some bargains. And when I was learning to sew, um, when I was a teenager, I used to buy pretty much all my fabrics from Walthamstow Market simply because I had no money. And the great thing about when you're learning to sew and you go to somewhere really affordable is you don't worry about making mistakes. Because, of course, if you're learning to sew, on really expensive fabric, it's just so nerve wracking. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would really recommend a trip down there if you're looking for some bargains. So let's get going with the bargains. <laughs> so lots of these fabrics, both Harriet and I have purchased. So we're gonna have matching outfits and I'm totally fine with that. So the first one I've got here, I think was in the, well actually pretty much all of these, I think all of them are from the same shop in Walthamstow, which has fabrics from, I think like 50p per meter, going up to a maximum of five pounds per meter. So it's kind of kind of crazy. And lots of them are end of end of line. So lots of the fabrics that you'll find in Walthamstow, you will recognize from lots of the high street shops. The shops buy their rolls really cheaply. Once the shops are finished with them, they're not producing any more of that garment or using that fabric anymore. They need to be sold on, so that's quite good. Um, and yeah, there's lots of polyester, but I am not adverse to polyester. I actually really like it because it doesn't wrinkle. So this is a polyester crepe and I fell in love with it because at the moment, I'm really obsessed with fabrics which have florals and polka dots and I've seen loads in Topshop which I always look at the Topshop website for inspiration, I just think they're really cool. So this obviously has a black background, I'm going to hold it here hoping it focuses. <laughs> um, so isn't it lovely, it's got these really bright yellow flowers, little white polka dots and I bought, oh god how much did I buy, let's see if I can guesstimate, okay or we'll see if I can measure with my arm, so one, two, Three meters. I bought three meters because it was, I think, one pound fifty or two pounds per meter, which is bananas. So yeah, I was just up. I'd go for it, and I would say I want to choose a pattern which has a requirement for quite a lot of fabrics. I may as well make the most of this. So probably something with a swooshy skirt, lots of frills, you know, really casual. Uh, <laughs> very me. So I love that one. Um, I'm going to move pretty swiftly because I have got a mountain of stuff to show you. Um, four things for me and the rest for for babies. Um, this next one, it was Harriet's favourite, and just look at this shade of red, isn't that amazing? It's so vibrant, so beautiful. This is also a polyester crepe. Um, if I put it a bit closer, you'll be able to see it has little polka dots on, very cute, very chic. I mean, you could see so many clothes on the high street in prints like this. Um, so yeah, Harriet and I both got this one. I'm very tempted to make a dress with frills in this because I've seen, again, some really beautiful frilly polka dot dresses. I've also got three meters of this one. The only thing putting me off making something with frills is that it's printed and the reverse just looks like it's pale pink. So uh, I'm kind of drawn towards probably making something where the reverse really won't show very much. But regardless, I am very pleased with that one. This was also two pounds per meter. Um, uh, the next one I got, Harriet didn't buy. This is like the only one that I've got to show you that she didn't buy. Um, isn't it? I really loved it. It's got little strawberries on. This feels more viscousy. It's like a viscous crepe, I think, this one. Lots of crepes. I love working with crepes. And it's sort of, yeah, a slightly heavier weight viscous. I pre-washed them all, so it's a little bit wrinkly. Um, it's got these little strawberries all randomly on it, so it kind of reads like a random polka dot which I like, and it is actually fairly opaque. You can't really see through it. I think anything, as long as it wasn't completely skin tight, which, I mean, let's face it, you're not gonna make anything skin tight out of viscous anyway. Um, I think, yeah, it would be absolutely fine. You're not gonna see your underwear through it or anything. 
Um, and if not, I can always line it with something if I do have just on the bodice or over the over the bum, maybe, <laughs> or any pants showing. So yeah, I, I really love this one. There was only, I think, let's see what was left on the roll. I just took what was left because this was also, yeah, two pounds per meter. The salvage says Ben, Ben, Bengu. I don't know. That's the, the brand of this one. So I've got one meter two meters i think two and a half meters of this one i'm tempted to do a blouse with like a frilly neck i thought that could look really pretty but i've also seen really lovely frilly skirts which i'm obsessed with they look so cool dominique's made a really nice white one with black polka dots on and i've seen loads in the shops and they're often white with polka dots just loads of really nice frilly skirts so Maybe I'll make a skirt, I'm not sure yet. So let me know in the comments, as always, what you think I should make with these fabrics. Um, and the last fabric, I've actually already started making up. So it's this, again, it's a crepe, and it's a poly crepe this time. And I made, I'm starting to make, can you tell, some little culottes, um, which I, if they're either gonna stay culottes, I'm quite tempted to make a bodice and make it into like a jumpsuit. There was only two meters left on the roll. Harriet, I think, bought three. I went and bought two, which was all that was left. And I love it because it's patchwork polka dots. Can you see? So it's got different scales of polka dots on there, which I just thought looked super cool. Um, very sort of wear lemonade-y. I felt like it was a really cool print. So those are the fabrics for me, which I'm very excited to get cracking with. So now let's have a look at the baby fabrics. Now these are not from Walthamstow, and conversely, they are not cheap. So all those fabrics were like two pounds, three pounds each. These ones here, I think, are 11 pounds per meter. However, I did not buy a full meter of any of them. So all of these, including shipping, which was free, which was very good. So they do a free shipping over 50 quid, I think. It was 50 quid completely for, I bought nine different fabrics. And I bought half a meter of each. And the reason I bought half a meter of each is I did a little trial run and I had half a meter of their jersey from when I went to Denmark. And I managed to make a little top and little trousers. Let me get them actually. So out of only half a meter of fabric, I managed to make these little cute trousers. And these are in the size. Um, I've got this pattern. It's a free pattern for pat from Patterns for Pirates. These are called Petite Pegs, adorable. Uh, I managed to make these adorable little trousers. Um, which uh, from a stop and still fabric and I just decided that was the best fabric for babies It's got such a high elastane content really soft really good recovery um, And I also managed to make the little top which is also one of their free patterns I can't remember what it's called, but I'll link it down below so from just half a meter of uh, their lovely jersey I managed to make a top and trousers and my intention with these fabrics is to make a kind of mix and match collection of things which all go together they're similar colors but not the same colors um, so yeah, you can have little tops and little trousers and you can mix and match and when they get dirty, you know, take them off, put something else on. This was actually the size six months, which I made because I just wanted to try it out. I'm probably going to do a mixture of three months and six months when I make these. Um, oh, and I also downloaded their little hat pattern, which is so cute. So <laughs> some of them will also have a hat, I think, which would be, yeah adorable so I'll get started the first one I chose they're all kind of wrinkly which is I'm very sorry I haven't actually washed them yet I put them in the laundry hamper as soon as I finished looking at them and admiring them and I was like oh I really want to film today so I'm gonna have to pull them out the laundry hamper so I'm gonna put them back in the wash in a minute but um yeah this one has little cat faces and it's in a very nice soft lavender uh, lavender color which isn't that just so cute so yeah that's 11 pounds but I got it for I only bought half a meter, so all these are five pounds per piece. And five pounds is not bad for a little top and trousers, I thought. I can already see myself getting completely addicted to baby clothes. They sew up like in a snap, it's amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's the first one. The next one is very cute, and it's in a minty green color, and it's got tiny stars. My voice just cracked, so it's just, just, just too cute. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be so nice wearing it in bed or, well, whenever really. They'd always look gorgeous in that. I just think it's lovely. Very, it's nice to have an excuse to buy all these adorable prints because I wouldn't wear them myself, but I think for babies they are perfect. This one reminds me of one of my favorite kids' books, which is Where the Wild Things Are. And it's got teeny tiny crowns on it and uh, the largest crowns have a small amount of glitter on just for for jazziness 
and they had pictures of this made up in baby clothes and it was very lovely. The Stop and Still website and their shops are just, they're amazing. They're ama absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, the delivery was an absolute nightmare. They tried to deliver this to me six times and they kept trying to deliver it at eight o'clock at night over and over again. This is not Stop and Still, this is the, you know, whoever was a DHL or whoever was delivering it. And I was so annoying because I, I got it specifically delivered to my work because I was like, well, I'm not going to be at, usually you get deliveries during the day and if I get it to my house, there's no one here. So I intentionally put my work address on it and I was like, are you kidding me? Eight o'clock at night, you have to pay for that time. It's that delivery time normally. Um, this is a floral, but I think this could be for girls or boys and it's in a gorgeous mustard color. I think it's just lovely. Imagine those cute little trousers, little petite pegs with little, little yellow flowers. Oh, very cute. Um, nearly finished, don't worry. <laughs> this one has lions on, which is very gorgeous. Which are very gorgeous, I don't know, whichever you'd say. And this is the boldest print I went for. I tried to go for fairly subtle prints because I realised from doing a lot of research that I really prefer quite simple kids wear. And um, yeah, there's not actually that much on the market really, not at a reasonable price. So I thought I'd make some, you know, fairly simple um kids things that's lovely I really like that one I like that it's got the hints of mustard so you can see my intention is that if you made like a top in this and trousers in this the colors are very similar um, but not the same but it picks out the mustard so it's sort of a nice mix and match but similarly you know you could have these two together they're both in the kind of the green and it's got the black on it that would look fine together and I also bought two planes so I've got this nice um, plain blue which is exactly the same quality. I think it was slightly cheaper because it's not got a print on it. And I also went for it in a plain maroony burgundy type color, which I just thought was, yeah, really nice. And then it's nice to have some plain things <laughs> to go with it. But also, I mean, I think this one's fairly plain. I mean, it's just got tiny stars on it, doesn't it? It's not, it's not a hugely in your face type print. But I, I just thought that actually lots of these, like these two would look lovely together. I thought that, um, the cats would look really nice with a dark purple. And another one which I bought is this one here, which I just fell in love with. This might be my favorite one. It's got these tiny polka dots on. Isn't that just lovely? And again, I mean, I thought that would look good with the little cats or with the dark purple, with, you know, even with like the green, I love pink and green together. I think, yeah, I just thought they'd all kind of work quite well together and look quite cute. I actually think that would look really cute with the little little pink, uh, sorry, the little yellow flowers. Another thought. All the thoughts. I think there's a concert at the stadium. I live near Twickenham Stadium, so it's quite often quite noisy. Um, <laughs> there's a concert or a game going on, so sorry if you can hear music and stuff in the background. Um, and the last one I chose is absolutely adorable as well, and it's a similar, it's actually the same colour. Quite a few of them I bought are the same colour, but it's a different print on. And it's got um, little umbrellas, which are so sweet, um, and little clouds. I just thought, yeah, that was absolutely lovely. So those are my fabrics. I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who commented on my Instagram story, which had amazing pattern recommendations for babies. I ended up going, trying out this, um, the Patterns for Pirates ones first, because they were the free ones, you know, and I thought, well, it's my first time. I'll try out something that's really simple and free. And I have just loved it. And I've shown it to my friends and they really love them too. So that's probably what I'm gonna stick with for now. But I am really tempted to try a different top pattern. The, the trousers are perfect. I think I'm just gonna stick with those. But the top, I love this little neck opening and it, you can see it's sort of got this overlapped style here. It's very fiddly to do. So I'm tempted to try a different um, top pattern and brindle and twig have some of the just the most adorable ones ever so I'm probably gonna try a brindle and twig one um, which aren't free but you know that's fine I'm happy to pay for them um, yeah so I'm probably gonna try a different top but I do really love how this has come out I think it's very very cute it was just a super fiddly and quite an awkward neck um, band to insert um, but yes that's where I'm at with the bait on the baby clothes mission that's everything for today. I do hope you enjoyed this video and you like my fabrics. Please do let me know down below if you've got any fantastic ideas for those dressmaking fabrics which I bought uh, for me. <laughs> I hope you guys have a really fantastic week. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.